everybody. I am on the central coast of California on the Monterey Bay. An editor photograph of mostly uh, birds like plovers. I've been really, to one I've really been trying to get is the black oyster catcher, which I've got some pretty good shots of. Also been photographing sea otters and trying to get some shots of harbor seals. Harbor seals have been the hardest. <laughs> but this is the Monterey Bay is one of the most beautiful places I think it's where I learned photography was out here when I started getting into photography years and years ago and um, I like to come back on occasion the conditions have not been good the it's been cloudy the whole time no sun sun might pop out for a little bit and then go away but it is what it is you know so you just kind of have to adapt that's why I do wildlife sometimes is because birds and um, sea otters and sea lions and seals, the, a big broad light is a lot better than having a harsh sunlight. So let me show you some of this. This is really just rugged coastline. I'm right on, uh, right in Pacific Grove, right along the road. This is a great walking trail. We've been watching a pod of dolphins out here by where these boats are out there we've also been spending some time uh we went over well up in the redwoods just poking around got some okay stuff it was nothing spectacular one of the state parks we went to um big basin had been burnt in 2020 so there was just a lot of burnt trees but i think i got some pretty good photographs of of that area with the, just the black bulls, the black tree trunks, and, and new growth coming on those redwoods. Yesterday, we also went out to Point Lobos and hiked around and really scouted it. And the light was just, there were so many great shots, but the light's just been dead. Just heavy overcast, nothing really, you know, the, to make it worth photographing, scenic stuff. But we're probably gonna go back there tomorrow and poke around some more. We had so much fun out there. So, so we'll put some more of that on here. But, uh, Photographing wildlife and stuff like this on the shore, looking for birds, looking for seals and sea lions. Here's what I'm using. So I'm using my, my Nikon Z30. This is my Tamron 150 to 600 and a two times teleconverter. So I love using a crop sensor for this kind of stuff because that makes that 600 equivalent of nine and then with the teleconverter on it, the two times teleconverter, I'm looking at over 1800 millimeters in, in length, which really helps. There are some trade-offs going this route. Um, it's not a really fast lens to begin with. And so with the teleconverter cuts out another stop, but you know, I mean, it's livable. Using my Z30 here is, is great. My biggest complaint is the viewfinder is missing. There's no viewfinder, so you have to use the LCD screen, which in cloudy conditions like this is fine. It's not been a problem. When it gets sunny, I have a, an eyepiece that I can put on it that basically turns it into a viewfinder. But I'm also using my heavy duty tripod. This is my, uh, my eye footage. I love this tripod. I just, you, with a setup like this, a big lens, you don't want a lightweight tripod. You want something beefy and strong that can handle it. So, so photographing wildlife like this is always challenging. Light is the key factor, trying to get good light. It's windy, it's cold here. <laughs> my other jacket's in the car and I'm, my hands are getting cold and it's, what is this, June 15th? 14th, June 14th, something like that. And it's... Had to put on my hat and a, another jacket. It's getting so chilly. <laughs> it's not even sunset yet. It's, I think it's a quarter to eight now. And uh, it's just this big, thick, dark clouds came in and really covered things up. And just to, the light is really dim. I'm shooting at ISO 6400, yeah and i'm rain at i'm like at seven seven six and about two fiftieth of a second um stuff i've been shooting and that's not i mean that's that's pretty pretty dark so <laughs> one of the things we also did today was we went to and, and had fun at the aquarium 
Monterey Bay has a fantastic aquarium. It's one of the best around. And we just, we spent probably three, four hours there with my son and grandson. And if you're not familiar with the Monterey Bay Aquarium and you're coming to this area, you really ought to go. It's a spectacular aquarium that has some of the best um, tanks I've ever seen. It's got otters, it's got penguins, it's got um, touching pools where you can touch rays and stuff. It's got huge tanks with kelp beds in them and sharks and fish and na all the native animals you see right here in the aquarium. It really is amazing. So if you get a chance to come to this area, don't pass up seeing the aquarium. It's well worth the money you're going to spend. And plan on three to four hours to be there. You could spend longer, but I think I think three to four hours, you know, are, if you really want to enjoy it, you're going to need about that much time. So uh, we moved up the, up the shoreline a little bit to where we, from where we were earlier, and just have been look, watching some sea otters. I got some more video footage of a black oyster catcher, and I'm convinced with birds that as soon as I get on them and start filming them or trying to photograph them, they know and they fly off because that always happens to me. I got on it, was just starting to video it, and boom, it flew off. So anyway, I'm right here in public off the walkway and people are looking at me and smiling as they walk by. There goes somebody else on a bike. <laughs> I hate filming in public. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna get back to photograph and it's getting too dark really to do much more. These are black oyster catchers, really cool birds. I really enjoyed trying to find these and, and photograph them on the shore. And then of course the sea otters are always extremely fun to watch. Just really love filming and trying to photograph sea otters. I didn't get any still images of the sea otters that I'm really, really happy with, but it was still just so fun to sit and watch them and, and try to get some shots of them. So I'm going to uh, mosey along. I think we're going to run back to the wharf before they close up and go get some ice cream. At the old fisherman's wharf there in in Monterey, spectacular place to go and eat and and they have really good ice cream. So <laughs> talk to you later. This is Old Fisherman's Wharf. And we just got some ice cream. Yum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that, dear. Couple pirates. Ooh. All right. She's found her new love. What's a what's a pirate pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? R. R. <laughs> now we're over at Point Lobos, just south of Carmel. Yeah, this is a state park. It's a uh, sanctuary in nature sanctuary it's really cool this is uh whaler's cove behind me and i've been sitting here photographing some harbor seals that are sitting on a rock down there let me show you this so as you can see the harbor seals there are just really cool that white one is just really unique looking i ended up getting a vertical shot of it. I'll show you here. I'm probably going to make it black and white. It's just such a nice contrast range of whites and blacks. And I just was able to isolate it laying there on the rock. Just 
with this almost a smile on its face is just laying there relaxing <laughs> this is Whaler's Cove as you can see it opens up to the ocean out over that way really neat little area the whalers used to come in here and process the the whales they would pull into this cove and and cut the whales up and boil their blubber down over there this is a really neat place so we ended up you park over here at this parking lot and we hiked up the trail that goes off and all the way up around. It's the North Shore Trail. It goes all the way back around in there. We've done that two days now. Uh, found a really neat spot back in there I wanted to photograph and came back today and got a shot of it in the, the, the fog and the mist. I'll put it on here to see what you think. It was a nice hike. We took the North Shore all the way around the other day and today we went up the North Shore Trail and then up over, took an offshoot trail of it that goes up to the top goes right up on top up there and it's called uh, Whaler's Knoll and that was a nice trail we saw some deer in there um, I didn't get any video of them that I got some the day before when we were in there of a doe and two little fawns it was really cute I'll put that on here so it's just really it's really peaceful sitting in here watching the waves come in we were watching some a uh, couple harbor seals swimming right over there uh, just across from the the whaler shack and I got some video of that they're hard to get they were playing and rolling in the water and it was really hard to catch them and we've seen some sea otters in here and some birds it's been pretty cool so if you're in this area coming out and seeing this Point Lobos State Park is really neat and if you're a diver you can register and dive right here this is the only place you can dive they have an entry place right over there by where the cars park that you can just come in here and scuba dive in this area. Here's a shot of a lone cypress tree, not the lone cypress. I got there in, uh, in Point Lobos. I really love how this one turned out. Here's some images I got while hiking around Point Lobos. I really love some of these. This one I loved, but the sky was awful, so I did a sky replacement. Sorry, Rodney. <laughs> Well, we've been up and down the Central Coast here in California. Spent a lot of time yesterday over in Point Lobos and really enjoyed it. Just had a lot of fun. Honestly, I've not been shooting a lot of video. I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of not into it. <laughs> just, I've had a hard time even wanting to photograph a whole lot. I've just been, I've just been having a lot more time exploring, scouting, looking for areas, and just enjoying being with my wife. Um, I've had some medical problems going on lately. I've got to go in for a major, well, it's an outpatient, but it's kind of a major thing on Monday when we get back from vacation. We're spending all day Sunday driving home, and then I got to be up at the hospital at like 7 a.m., so joy. But <laughs> we went down Highway 1 down into Big Sur and just south of McQuay Falls where they, it's closed. They've got Highway 1 closed because there was big landslide across it this last winter with all the rain. And we just been poking around having fun. And on the way down, I saw, looking down one of these canyons, these little ravines where the water's running through, I saw some calla lilies growing. So I, my wife does the driving so I can look, <laughs> just in case you were wondering. So we, on the way back up, we pulled over and I've come down here and found this area. It's really pretty. I don't think these lilies are at their height. Um, some of them are dying, but 
I, it, they're still going good. So, you know, it's really nice. This is running water along here. Let me show you this. So here's my shot through the camera. You can see how I've got the, the lilies in the foreground coming up and then moving across and just bringing your eye in. It's a kind of a natural leading line of these lilies taking your eye in. Also notice, let me open this up just a little bit. Also notice the trail coming down the stairs. That's a nice leading line. And then the, uh, the ocean in the back. Now this is a little bit of a tricky exposure. I focus just on the foreground on this one. If I darken this up, you can see the sky a little bit better. But I thought about dropping my graduate graduated filter on there, but it would darken too much of the, the stream area, you're getting down to the water. And it's kind of, you know, something I'm just not typically doing. I'll just try to fix it all in post. Um, the light's not great. It, it's just overcast. It's just the way it is. There's nothing I can do about it. But I really like this concept. The first ones I did, I focus stacked, and I'm not sure how they're going to turn out. But I'll show it on here and see. The problem is there's some movement with the, the, the little bit of breeze and the water moving the leaves and stuff that are right there in the water. And it causes stuff to, to blur when you're trying to focus stack it. So this last shot I did, I just focused on the lilies in front, shooting at F8, and we'll see how that turns out with just this foreground being in focus and the background being out of focus. So I'll put these on here and let you see what you think. I'm not one to typically do sky replacements, but I just couldn't resist on this because the sky was so awful. It was just gray, so I took a sunset from a, an image here in Utah and dropped it in there. <laughs> You know, I don't do that very often, but it's just something I just, I wanted to do. So yeah, I had to turn my hat around because uh, the, the, the brim was bumping the camera. <laughs> so I wear my hat backwards a lot if I'm wearing a, a hat like this. So this is just really pretty. I'm going to get a few more shots in here and... Uh, and then head back to the car. I'm Well, there is another ravine a little over that's got water coming down it too that I might go check out and see. But most of this, most of photography is just about exploring, get out and explore. Poke around and just look for stuff to, to find it. And most of the time you'll be looking when the light's not great and you might find something that will look good when the light's good, but the light's not good when you're trying to find, or when you're trying to photograph it. It's just kind of the name of the game. Getting really good shots, it takes a lot of patience and time and energy. There's the calla lilies down there. I had it all to myself for a little bit. Look at all these wildflowers I'm walking through. This is this whole Garapada um, State Park area, which is where I am, is just beautiful. I filmed down here and got some great shots in uh, 2020 and really just had fun. This trip, I wasn't so concerned about coming back here, and then I saw those calla lilies. I was like, oh man. <laughs> so. Look at this, the surf's right there. Look at that. Just gorgeous. All the, the leaves and, and all the red and yellow, green. I think the most of the red is ice plant, which is a non-native species. Just gorgeous. access over here. I didn't know that. I swear there's a stream running down into this. 
I'm gonna go look and see if there's more lilies over there. Well, I just walked down all those stairs, which means now I have to go back up them. And down here, past a, past a bride and groom on their way <laughs> that had been doing wedding photos. This light is so awful. I am gonna go over here where the bridge they're repairing. I know there's a creek that runs in. I'm looking for more lilies over there. Well, I've been watching the tide, you know, while I'm out here to know when it's coming in and going out. And it's coming in. I came up on this rock and that, <laughs> that beach is, look at that. So I'm gonna turn around and go back before this tide gets any higher and I get stuck down here in these rocks. I'm pretty sure that it's the next cove over where the stream runs in. I can't get to it. So turn around and go back and climb all those stairs. Here's the stairs I gotta climb and there's more above that. can see people don't realize but storm surge and high tide the water comes right up in here this beach can be completely underwater all right going up well I had to walk all the way up here to where the road is and there's no access from up here to that other stream there's there's a house right over there and the bridge uh, just 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 past their property where their driveway is and I know there's a stream there but apparently the only way to get to it's from down on the beach and can do it so I'm gonna call my wife and tell her to drive down here and pick me up she's at the the next pole out further north <laughs> look at this I can see my car down there by that motor home and I'm not walking across this bridge there is a there's absolutely no shoulder. And I mean, it's like 200 yards and I'm not gonna risk it because somebody will hit me and people are nuts. <laughs> so I'm gonna bushwhack it over here and drop back down along the stream to the, uh, to the trail. Bushwhacking is always fun. Just saw a pretty little garter snake. It's up underneath this, these flowers right here by my tripod. There's, Probably no rattlesnakes in here, I hope. But this is all Garapata State Park. And Garapata in Espanol is wood tick. Last time I was here, I got a wood tick in my chest. So when I get back to the hotel, I've got to strip and have my wife search me for ticks. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm back on the trail. I had to come through all that over there that's above my camera. From the road but I just crashed through a bunch of mints so now I smell really good oh what the heck I'm back here at the calla lilies across the stream and I thought I'm gonna shoot this so I just set up and got another shot I'm not, I'm not gonna focus stack this is, that's there's too much movement but I just did a couple different exposures change in depth of field see which one I like so my wife's probably wondering where the heck I am <laughs> Let me show you this. You can see I've underexposed this uh, on the video just so you can see the, the sky and everything. But I like this. This is actually maybe one of my better ones because of the, the water coming in little bit of a long exposure so the water was blurry um, the branches that are moving are end up going to be blurry but I like it and here again because of that awful sky I dropped another sunset in here that I had I couldn't help it I had to just get one last shot of this beautiful uh, lily by itself against this leafy background I think this one's gonna look really good Sometimes it helps if you're stuck in a rut to just get outside to break up your routine. And this has been extremely therapeutic for me.
to come out on this vacation and just hike and explore I mean, areas I know, but just to relax, have fun, go to nice restaurants, and just kind of enjoy life a little bit. So, uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and happy trails and check yourself for ticks. Hey, will you check me for ticks? Okay, where do I start? Uh, uh. <laughs>